Wow, glorious day in the history of the AK Operators Union. Here I am back to the SKS and that one has the outstanding OSS can on it from the OSS suppressors. This is Helix QD uh, and that can works and jelly with that SKS uh, perfectly fine. When I posted pictures on our social media uh, about that SKS uh, suppressed, uh, it created the firestorm. Uh, how I did that? You know what kind of mods I have uh, done to the gas system and things like this. Guys, there is no mods to the gas system. This OSS can does outstanding job sucking out the gases, pushing them forward and the rifle cycles without any additional back pressure. So basically, whatever you had before, you're going to have when the same as far as the gases pressure coming back as far after putting the can on it. This can works really great. The OSS is doing fantastic job on the semi-automatic uh, rifles. Now, I will do the shameless plug for the CNC Warrior. I use their threading kit and I purchase everything on my own. Uh, they didn't give me any discounts. I didn't ask for any, any discounts or anything. I just want to give them a kudos because they do have a really good hardware. Uh, this is uh, what you can buy from them. So basically this is the 14-1 threading die. Uh, dies are made in Poland with the whole tool and a little, little bit uh, of the pilot for the threads and this thing works extremely well. I have threaded multiple rifles uh, and on SKS it was extremely easy because everything is exposed. Uh, on the PSL 54 I had to remove pressed in brake. It was, it was a completely different adventure. Something that I will talk about it uh, in a different episode. But if you want to add a threads to your barrel, uh, this set works very well and if you have a minimum skills of uh, you know like if, if, if you can do your stuff at home this is right in the ballpark it's not really complicated and uh, allows you the way how they shape it shape the die and, and that tool it allows you to go with the threads all the way to the front post and you can do that you don't have to use the 14-1 uh, left hand uh, you can use different dies purchase different dies they got a guide on the CNC website uh, what to do based on your uh, uh, barrel diameter so it's a really full proof and it's easy to use th those tools highly recommended if you know what you're doing if you have no clue if you are wobbly shaky uh, it's easy to screw up those threads on the barrel and uh, you have to always worry when suppressing right do you have the bore of the barrel concentric that's the the, the, the most important thing uh, also on that subject when you are at the cnc warrior pick up those guide rods uh, from CNC Warrior for different calibers, this is 7.62, so I always use the guide rod to, for checking how is the suppressor set, set up on my uh, rifles and I always make sure everything is straight and there is no obstruction or anything because it's easy to blow up the can uh, if you don't pay attention to the, uh, you know, if, if the bottle is concentric and everything. And I know that people will say, well, you, you can use the Dead Air Wolverine. Uh, guys, trust me, I, ha I had the uh, Dead Air Wolverine on some rifles and they were so out of whack, the barrel was so so out of the center that you were unable to use even Wolverine. And the, the Wolverine's got a really huge diameter, uh, you know, to compensate for that. So imagine that you always have to check this tool, this guide rod is not that expensive. Pick them up, they work great. As I said, I got nothing. I got uh, no, nobody's paying me from CNC Warrior or anything. Uh, they are just providing a simple tools, a simple guy, guy stuff, and uh, you should be able to use it and uh, to, to use those threads. But as you can see here, I got the standard 17, 1627 part number for the muzzle brake, left-handed uh, thread uh, on the muzzle brake for the AK setup from OSS, and then you can put that can and it att attaches to the brake. Uh, since the brake is left-handed and there's no pin or nothing to stop it, uh, it's a good thing to use the rack stop uh, to on the threads for the muzzle brake, and that holds it better in place. Uh, now, 
Uh, can you still the use the bayonet? Yes, you can still use the bayonet, but you have to remove the brake. So something for something, cane or bayonet. Uh, but if you will be, you know, if you are that guy concerned, uh, if you want to run the bayonet, you will be still able to run the bay bayonet. You just have to remove the muzzle brake. Other than this, no magic. Uh, it was done before by many others. Um, and I remember Eric from uh, Iraq Vet put the suppressor on, on, on SKS. There are other guys who put the suppressors on SKS. It's a very easy process, uh, tons of fun. I'm just telling you, when you will, uh, start using a different cans, uh, traditional cans, you will have some serious back pressure coming back at you. So you have to be aware of that. And then you probably have to address the gas system and uh, do the tweaking to the gas system. With the OSS can, that goes out of the window. You don't have to worry about that extra back pressure. A uh, rifle still shoots great, tons of fun, very accurate. And uh, that's all I have to say. If you got any specific questions, post them underneath of that video. As always, I'll be more than happy to, uh, to answer it to those. I'll be watching uh, those comments for uh, the next 24 to 48 hours, and uh, I'll try to provide the answers. Other than this, thanks for watching. Thanks for being with us. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you got notifications from the YouTube about the new videos posted uh, to the channel. Thank you for watching.